Since I did the area ranking for Bowser's Inside Story, I've been always thinking that I should do one for Dream Team, but we're not going to include the Dream Points, as that will be in the next video, or maybe the next video after that. But the areas in this game are pretty bad, the early ones, but they do get way better later ones. Oh, Blimport is such a boring area. There's nothing to do here. There's barely any beans and there's no pillows in this area. There's not much to even explore here. There's like two different things you need to do here. Make it to Pillow Castle and make it to Mount Pajama Draw. And I guess also do those shy guys to get those sheets. But that's really it. Pillow Castle on like Blimport, you can actually come back and explore. You can also do the arena here, which you have to do to get the Z-Keeper feathers. And the boss ring is a really cool area, but when you first come here, there's not much to do. You really never come here the second time, unless if you're trying to get the, the Z-Keeper feathers. So that's really it. There's nothing much to do here. There's, I think, a couple pillows here. There's also that underground area, which barely counts as pillow castle near Mushrise Park. This is a really short area, and this is why this is really low on the list. Even though it's a late area and has some cool enemies and some good enemies, but there's not much you do here. Most of the stuff you do here is in the dream world, which is the reason why it's lower on the list, because we're not counting the dream world, because that's going to be counted in the next video. But the music here is, I guess, pretty good. It kind of reminds me of Superstar Saga's beach theme, which is good, because I like Superstar Saga, but that's really it. There's not much to talk about. There's that one mini game, but that's really it. On the first visit to Mushrooms Park, you really are just going through it and you're not really doing much in here. But on the second visit, you're breaking stones, which kind of reminds me of Dozing Sands when you have to break those stones in the first visit. But we'll talk about Dozing Sands later down the line. But this is much Park's Parks section, so not this isn't Dozing Sands. This is a cool area. It has some cool music. I really like it. Probably my one of my favorite music pieces in the game. It's so catchy, and I like jumping to it. There's not much to do here, but the music is catchy, and that's why it's above the beach, or whatever it's called. To me, Dozing Sands is a really boring place. There's not much to do here, even though there actually is a lot to do here. There's some pillows, there's some beans and stuff, this is where you learn the moves Mole Mario and Mini Mario, which are really helpful, but you have to get the Dozites in the first visit, which don't... Really, I don't really like. You get a. There's not really. You get to fight, uh, whatever his name is. But you also have to. In the second visit, you have to go into that cave and then get the dozing mattress, which I guess is cool, but it's just boring that most of those are in the cave. Wakeport is a solid area in this game, and it's better than Dozing Sands because of its music and how chill it is for a city area. And even in the city area, there is a boss fight, and that boss fight is Popcorn Wiggler, and there is some stuff to do. There's some pillows, there's also the mini game where you have to like use your bros attacks to get a high score. That's pretty cool, but I've never been too fond of those. Uh, there is some other other things to do in here, but that's really it. Mount Pajama Jaw has some great music, and it's really cool that you can just climb up the mountain, and there's not really much to do in this area besides climbing up the mountain, but there is some unique enemies here, and a really cool boss fight in Mamushka, and there is a really cool cave, I think it is, or is it? No, I don't think it's a cave. No, it is a cave. You get the get the Mount Pajama Jaw. I don't even know. You do get to go in a cave and explore more of the mountain, but there's not really much to do on the second visit. Somnom Woods is such a great place. It has some really unique enemies with the Boomerang Bro and 
not really being unique, but some really great enemies. There's unique ones like the beehive, um, also the the pillow monster stone things. I don't know, but the boss, the pillodulum, is really cool. There's not much in here, but it's a really big area, but not really much. There is some, there is a lot of exploration, which makes it be up more on the list than the other ones, and this is why it's number two. Bowser's Castle has great music, great area, a lot of things to do in this area. There's only one pillow, but there is some beans in here. You actually have to look for them in this area. There's some that you still have to look for in other areas, but these ones are in little patches, but there is a lot of exploration. You don't really need to go to many places. Kamek mixes up the areas, which makes it really fun to explore this place, and the bosses make it even better. Welcome to the end of the video. This is a very short video. It's around six minutes long. And that's really all I have to say. Like and subscribe. Subscribing's free. You can always unsubscribe later. Um, there's, I guess... Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to make the Dream Team Dream Point ranking probably next week and of course i post every wednesdays so don't try to put on the notifications so you never miss an ep a video sorry and this has been bowser's bean signing off bye